We welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Muhammad Ali's ring walk. He just exudes confidence, carrying himself like a champion. Mike Tyson's ring walks have been known as circus spectaculars. But yet, with all that, to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Side to side. That is a strong uppercut there. Let's see some more head movement. Teddy, we got a matchup here tonight of a guy who can bang against a guy who likes to stay away, likes to fight at range. Where do the advantages lie? Well, Mike Tyson stunned by a big shot. He is in a real, real bad spot right now. Big shot. Tyson's on the canvas. He is down. He went down from a hook. Never saw it coming. up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy keeps his hands up defensively protecting the head no need to be on the Keep your hands and that's up. what fighters do pulls the trigger right away after taking one and there's the left hand working well for him again halfway through this round here tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark we need to see some more fix Ali's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. And another jab comes in by Muhammad Ali. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Ali's scouting report is an easy one to read. Three letters, J-A-B. Yes, sir. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's jabbing in his way, and I don't mean talking. Yeah, I mean throwing that stiff lead hand out into his opponent's face all night long. Okay, listen. He's going to come forward this round. Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from me, all right? I need you to keep moving. You got to watch the water in the corner. The... recuperative powers are proving to be very strong right here this is the start to the round he wanted to have 
coming off a round where he was clearly damaged. Good block by Muhammad Ali. Ali's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Nothing there on the punch by Muhammad Ali. Stay away from the inside. Ali's banged by a big uppercut. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's proving to be elusive. Ali's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Mike Tyson's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Good return fire that time. Good combination to the body. Muhammad Ali is on the bad end of a flush, solid hook. Ali's hit by a counter punch there. Range, range. Missed the target with that hook. Keep your distance. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Tyson's damaged by a left hand. The round okay. comes to an end. Okay. So and right. for one fighter here, the fight may come to an end, Teddy, if now something move. doesn't change Coming real in. quick. I mean, you can just look at him and see that he's in rough shape. Well, look, sometimes it's your responsibility as a corner man, as a trainer, to come up with some advice technically on how to change things. Sometimes it's about stopping a fight. Maybe the best thing right now is that corner has to start thinking about maybe enough is enough. All right, you look great. Just don't get crazy in there. Box smart for me. And round number three is underway. Ali's come off the stool for this round, and I like the way he looks. Good way to protect the midsection. Ali's really walking a tightrope here. I mean, that's a foul. That's a headbutt right there. He could get DQ. Just like that. Just like that. Not an accurate hook at all. Mike Tyson's quickly taking control of this fight early on with one single weapon of choice, and that is the jab. Yeah, the jab and the jab at the right time. He's catching his opponent every time he starts coming. Wow! Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? Just surviving, but if he Tyson's thumped by a left hand, put him away. he is staggered and stumbling. Keep working the body. And that's a forceful two punch combo by Muhammad Ali. And just grabbing on to his opponent. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. I like that two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's banged up by a left hand. Muhammad Ali's run. 
crushed by a huge uppercut. See the quick jabs, those doubled up quick jabs, they can be so effective by Muhammad Ali. You have to keep the distance. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab. That was good. All right, relax, relax, just relax. You're doing fine. Now you're leaving yourself open now. You're throwing your punches wide. Keep them tight, keep them tight. Feel good? Next, keep it. Beginning of round number four. Teddy, the way your scorecard reads, he's up three rounds to zip. Good, accurate punching, earning him that lead. Yeah, very conservative. Hasn't wasted anything. But as you just touched on, has made everything count. Oh! Unbelievable! Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. <sighs> As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Muhammad Ali is now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon. Good evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Muhammad Ali's poise is something that cannot be denied. This is a fighter that knows he's ready to do what is in front of him, and he has what it takes to accomplish the goal. He's not throwing any fuel onto the fire for his opponent. He's just making his way down to the ring in a way in which he's checking that time card, ready to punch in and get to work. Over the rules and the 
dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is 10 rounds. One, two jabs up top. Hits him in the mug with the right. He just missed that shot up top. Is this the type of stylistic matchup, Teddy? A high stamina guy against a power puncher that many would describe as, oh, that's a little dangerous for the big favorite, for the big power puncher. That can be a trap. Yeah, it can be a trap because anytime you have a guy with high endurance, that means mentally he's fit. That means he probably has a good chin if he's been rounds before. And the power might not be enough. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. A shooting right hand. And yet another big shot comes in. And he, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Good job on that uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Double up the jam. Good job protecting himself. Ali's right hand. Big shot there. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? fight is over. Ali's dream becomes a reality. A first round knockout. Boxing writers are going to have a field day with this early knockout, Teddy. Praising one guy and tons of criticism is going to be targeted on his opponent. Yeah, two ways you could criticize his opponent. One is that obviously his technique was not right, and that came from training camp. But the other is more directed to his corner that they didn't warm him up right. I mean, he came out cold. There was no sweat on him, and he got starched. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Muhammad Ali's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. Isaac Frost's unpredictability belies his ring walk focus. He is ready for action.
right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Let's go. This really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Boy, sharp two-punch combination. By he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. When you have a lot of speed, how effective can a feint be? Oh, boy, it can be really effective because your opponent is keyed up already. Before the bell even rings, he's jumping out of his shoes. He's waiting for something to come quick. So you let him think it's coming, he's going to react to it. And then you go get him. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Punch and move, punch and move. <laughs> Always jammed by an uppercut. Well targeted two punch combo by Muhammad Ali. I shake it off. Good exchange, he fires back. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. There it is! How about this? Isaac Cross takes a power punch against Gore. being knocked down. We're gonna find out as this fight will continue on. Wow, look at that. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Turns the favor with a right hand of his own. He missed with that headshot. Round comes to an end. We saw the knockdown there in that round. A little bit of a momentum gainer. Yeah, obviously it gives you confidence, but you know what? It could also be a momentum killer, believe it or not. I've, How so? Joe, I've had guys where the worst thing that happened to them in a fight was when they scored the knockdown because they thought it was just going to keep happening. And they thought about only the punch they landed, not how they set it up. So they got away from the game plan. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. Cross reached that fork in the road now. You get a moment to breathe, a moment to try to clear your head after being knocked down, and it's up to your mind, your body, your disposition as to how do you react and go forward. Miss the body shot. Back to the head he goes. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Look at that! The hook came home with ease. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Ali with a big left. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. Hold on to him! was a tough stretch for Isaac Frost. Fortunately for him, he's such a fierce competitor. He has survived it. Still a lot of drama to be played out in this round. Isaac Frost in better shape than he was moments ago. Though. Yeah, physically I agree with you. Look at that! And a knockdown floors Isaac Frost. How can he respond to this?
Cross back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Oh, that's good. Three. Big left hand. Hold up. Left to the body. In and, out. and now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. End of that round, and the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. Frost Corner has to think how much more punishment can their man take. They start a fresh round, coming off yet another round which their man was down in. Look, Joe, there's been tremendous comebacks in this sport before. You just never know about how deep the reserve is in one man's body or mind. Super two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Uh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. Solid. Wow. He goes down again. This is going to be caught the elevator fight. Up and down all night. Climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. What the old timers want to see. Comedy. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. Fight. Ali's in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. Teddy, there's a lot of explaining to do here, but help me with this. Was this early knockout out of left field a product of one guy being prepared and the other guy just not ready for it? No, obviously he wasn't ready, wasn't prepared in the gym, but I think he came out cold from the locker room, never knew what hit him. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday, now it gets to explode here in the ring. Muhammad Ali is the kind of fighter who you just know has no self-doubts. Look at the way he's making his way down to the ring right now. You can see it in his eyes.
Andre Bishop's ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. And they are underway. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. In a matchup like this, Teddy, we know the outside fighter is going to try to stay away from that power puncher. But what about the outside fighter putting forth his own offense? What can we look for and expect from him? Well, distance will create offense for him. Misses will create offense. What he has to do is allow the aggressive fighter, the power guy, to do some of his work for him. When he tries to get in, make a miss, make him pay. Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. Up, Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Muhammad Ali. Parries the punch, puts one in there. On. Bishop's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Little head hunting with the left. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Fires off that hook. Oh, what an uppercut. He is so dangerous with that left hook to the body. And this time he adds the right hand on the back end. Andre Bishop scoring with that right hand. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Combo lands for the head. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Crashes home with the uppercut. Oh, and there you go. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? down but Andre Bishop is proving that he doesn't want to be knocked out tonight. Needs to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot. Nice work by Andre Bishop. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counter punch. Yeah he stepped to the side. You know a lot of times you talk about using your jab to set up a shot. He used his legs. Stepped to the side got that opportunity. Relax, relax, relax. You gotta relax. You gotta move out there. Move, move, move. Breathe now. Breathe. You good? Bishop's heading out there for this round, hoping that his legs are under him the way they need to be. He was dropped the last round. Well, he's going to find out. See, that's a good thing you just said, hoping. Well, he can't hope his legs are under him. He's got to find that out because if he goes out there and tries to use them and they're not, he's going to fall all over the place, and the referee's going to stop it. His opponent's going to jump on him. So while the referee's counting, what he's got to do is test them out a little bit. So now you know how to go about surviving the round. Do you just stay on the ropes and move your head, or do you use your bicycle? That's a razor 
sharp uppercut by Andre Bishop. A crushing two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Has an impactful right hand by Andre Bishop. And now he's targeting upstairs. Protecting his head well with his guard. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Not able to land the headshot. Good exchange, scoring well with the right hands. Bishop's like a piece of Velcro against his opponent recently here. It seems like he's clinching more after that knockdown. Yeah, that's exactly what he has to do right now. Now he has to be able to just get past his little bit. It's kind of like being in a bad rapids. You know, you're going down those waterfalls. You better be in a canoe. You better be in something. This is his canoe. This is his raft. Good-looking uppercut that time. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Three minutes gone by in this round. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Ali's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. You gotta watch the water in the corner too much. Number three is underway. Ali's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Now, this is exactly what I love about an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponents... Oh, that's gotta hurt. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? question becomes after that knockdown and he has gotten up how does he survive so this way things kick in you gotta start did you see that how is this gonna go on once again he hits the deck well he's getting practice at it so he might figure it out Muhammad Ali's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. He's probably going to mark that down as one of the highlights of his career. From out of nowhere, one single knockout punch. Well, it's one of those punches that actually can be marked down. It's going to last in the annals of this sport. I mean, this matches up with any of the great knockouts ever in this sport. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.
Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Muhammad Ali's ring walk. Something special in the air. You can just sense it out of him. Evander Holyfield's approaching the ring now, and this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. Every fight takes on its own unique personality. And this fight looks like it's going to be a matching of wits, a technical display. Yeah, if it was a chess match, it wouldn't be a lot of knights jumping over to castles. It'd be a lot of pawns moving forward very steadily. Keep Muhammad moving. Ali is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Unable to land clean by Muhammad Ali. As far as the fighter with the faster hand speed goes, going up against the high stamina, high endurance guy, what is the one thing he has to be very conscious of? Where he is, geography. That he's in the center of the ring where he can use that speed. Stay out of those corners. Definitely, definitely stay off the ropes. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Muhammad Ali. Good block there by Evander Holyfield. Not one, but solid shot. The left hand came in. the most accurate uppercut you'll see. He comes with a straight right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Evander Holyfield. Very nice work with the double jab up top. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Evander Holyfield. Well-targeted left hand. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Come to the end of the round. Always interesting to see how things will play out in our fights. Teddy, it's always great anticipation when we come sit ringside in the buildup of what's going to happen. Yeah, it is. And it's always great having a little electricity in the crowd. You know, it helps. I know it helps me with the broadcast. Focus. To know that you have these passionate fans that, that are jab, around. Okay? Double up the jab and keep moving. Start of a new round. A Vander Holyfield's making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here in great shape. 
and he's getting the benefit of that right now. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Evander Holyfield. Able to dismiss it. The left hand coming into play by Evander Holyfield. Good flush shot upstairs. Little head knocking with that right hand. Took a shot, now he gives the left. Nice job doubling up the jab by Muhammad Ali. Scores up top with a left. A Vander Holyfield showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. Ali's combination that was landed moments ago is a, one of those examples of what every trainer would really like to have. And that's a fighter with good hand speed. Yeah, and he's showing that right now. Now, the trainer in the other corner hopes he has a guy with good timing because timing can negate speed. Evander Holyfield's got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Evander Holyfield's hurt from... Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. He is saved by the bell. Oh, boy, Teddy, he's in a world of hurt now. Only 60 seconds in front of him. And you know what? Less than 60 seconds. It took him five seconds to get him on that stool. So right now, they can't concentrate just on telling him things, and he needs to be told why he got hit. But they got to get ice on him, and they got to right now, they have to revive him. Okay, doing good. Doing good. Just keep it up, all right? Very good, very good. Evander uh, yeah. Holyfield's got to be so careful here, Teddy. He was knocked down in the last round, and you know his opponent's going to be gunning for him here at the start of this round. But this is where you walk a tightrope, so to speak, because if he's too careful, as you alluded to, guess what? His opponent walks in, and the fight's going to get stopped. So, yeah, he's got to be smart, but he's also got to pitch something at his opponent, chuck something at his opponent to keep him off a little bit, too. Ali's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. That was nice. He just threw the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Muhammad Ali. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Oh. Ali's been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jab to start it. And then he's letting the punches go, letting their hands follow. There's the combo to the body. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is struck by a huge hook to the head. Ali's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Hook upstairs. Ali's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. That's a real... What a big shot. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down.
Mayfield's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. You keep your distance, all right? All night long, this is your fight. Come on, come on now, breathe deeply. Inhale, inhale, that's good. Now you're fighting his game plan. Box intelligently for him. Come on now. Now you're more intelligent than he is. Let's go. So as we start round four, we reflect on the first three, looking at Teddy's scorecard. Ali's earned good marks, taking all three rounds. Yeah, not eventful some of the rounds. Not a lot to separate the two guys, but I think that his jab has carried the day. Holyfield sticking to what we've always known of him, Teddy. The style hasn't changed, even though he was knocked down earlier. You know, a lot of trainers would say, hey, they pat him on the back. They say, there you go, kid. You know, stay with your identity. Just make sure that you correct a couple little things you need to correct. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Well, Vander Holyfield's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now, he's trying to counterpunch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hand dyed, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. And bang, and away he goes. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five. The ref stops the fight. Evander Holyfield's unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. That's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights. We welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Muhammad Ali's making his way down to the ring, and he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in, and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. George Foreman's ring walk is one of those ring walks where you realize how attentive this fighter is. This is a guy who has his eye on the prize and nothing will distract him.
Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Muhammad Ali is hoping that his strategy of utilizing his jab pays off. How could it do so, Teddy? What will that bring to him? Well, it's going to bring a lot of things. First of all, defense, separation. It's going to keep his opponent at a distance where he can't harm him. Hey, if you're a fighter and a guy can't harm you, guess what? That's a good thing. The other thing is to set up his other punches. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. Keeping him honest with the double jab up top. What's the concern defensively when you're a speedy fighter, a fast fighter against a power puncher? Usually, Joe, you don't want to get caught stepping out because when you're a fast guy, you want to get off and you want to get the heck away from the guy that's powerful. Don't get caught backing out. Nice block by George Foreman. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Finish with the hook. Ali's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. with a huge right hand. Good work defensively by Muhammad Ali. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Ali's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. George Foreman's getting hit too much. I mean, it's as simple as that, Teddy. He, he comes back after that round, and he just got popped a lot. Yeah, well, right now he's got to find a way to get away from some of those punches. But there's a problem, a big problem, like with anything else. How are you going to start changing it if you haven't been taught differently? I don't know that he knows the answer. Go out and fight this guy. You understand what I'm saying? Take it to this guy. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Targeting that head with the combination punching. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by George Foreman. And now he's targeting upstairs. Great work offensively landing that combination by Muhammad Ali. He just missed that shot up top. Foreman's in bad shape. Solid. How about that power shot? And how about the reverb that's going about a county away with Big George hitting the canvas? is rising up after being knocked down. Big George went down. Now he's going to continue on. And now he has to find a way to kill that clock. Big, big shot he just scored with. That combination puts him down.
Muhammad Ali's hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight. Oh, that's a big win. That's a big win that's going to get everybody in the division's attention. Muhammad Ali's power ends this early. You see results like this sometimes from combination, but one shot, wow. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights between Muhammad Ali and Tommy Morrison. Muhammad Ali's making his way to the ring right now. Boy, and he's not bashful at all, is he? Look at him. Confidently making his way down for this contest. Morrison's got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. He has found his groove with this right hand. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. into that one that was a solid uppercut they both decide to bring it he digs in trying to bank away body shots with the combo Ali's pre-fight talk included a lot of discussion about the need to utilize the jab why so well first of all he's a good fighter. big shot Tommy Morrison's unable to stand up to that combination to his feet after that knockdown but Teddy it's what's ahead that's the problem yeah we're getting a peek right now into his heart and Tommy Morrison's in a bad spot right now he's been stunned power puncher versus the high stamina fighter how does the high stamina fighter want this fight to unfold as it goes on well the high stamina fighter what he wants to do is he wants to get a lead 
Morrison's damaged by a right hand. Well, that's the classic wet noodle foundation right there. He's on wobbly legs. Yeah, and it's not al dente. It's really, really wet noodle. Ali's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Wow! He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. Muhammad Ali's done it. How about that? A first round knockout victory. It may have been scheduled to go longer, but he just rescheduled it. Done, over. Fiend, knockout victory. This matches up with any of the great punches throughout this sport. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night. Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Muhammad Ali's making his way to the ring right now, puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. Lewis is making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his cornermen, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Good doubling up of the jab by Muhammad Ali. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Lewis's ability to punch, to flat out put forth power, puts people in the seats. Early on, that's what they expect to see here. And early on, sometimes too much of a good thing, guess what, it can be dangerous, it can backfire. If he lands a punch and it doesn't get rid of the guy, well, what else can he do? What happens then? No, he missed that right. Good solid one-two by Muhammad Ali. Lewis is hurt bad by a right hand. Teddy, I think he's gonna go down. I think he's gonna go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just...
just doesn't know where it is now. Lennox Lewis is really showing us what he's made of. A good, sturdy chin. Now he ties up there. Ali's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Way to block there. Good effective work with that straight right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. A little head hunting with the right. Muhammad Ali's punch didn't come close. He said he was going to do it from the outside, and now he has. He just got to his man. His opponent had no idea that he was still in range. He thought he was at a safe distance. Now he knows he wasn't. You're fighting this fight. You're fighting on the inside with this guy. I want you to use the ring and keep your distance. All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? Slippy. Here we go. Round two is underway. Ali looks to be a fighter who's ready to go here. A well-placed left hand up top. Nice strike after catching one by Lennox Lewis. How quickly things can change. Lennox Lewis goes, oh! Lewis is down, he is down. A blistering combo put him there. <laughs> One, two, three, four, Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. That was a miss by Lennox Lewis. Finish with the hook. Teddy, early on in the career of Lennox Lewis, a lot of the British fans actually didn't gravitate towards him because he was one of these nomadic kind of fighters. You know, Jamaican, lived in Britain, but won a gold for Canada. Yeah, but the most important part of that geography is his own. He had his own identity. He knew where he stood. He knew where his confidence came from. He knew what his style was. He missed with that headshot. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. Ali's hand speed right now, the difference with what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Now the right hand lands because of the work done by the jab. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. That last round really damaged toe -to -toe with this Lennox guy. Lewis's his face does right. not look good at all. You can Listen, see his corner trying to tend to him. Yeah, they're tending okay. to him a little too late. Whatever what about in the gym? What about in training camp where you got to teach a guy, move your head. Don't get caught so you won't look that way. Maybe they didn't do their job. Listen, I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. Keep up.
good sign for him right here. He's coming out and looks fresh. He's up on his toes and boxing the way he was. That after a round in which he was knocked down. Yeah, that's about DNA. That's about genetics. I mean, he has good recovery skills. That's it. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good flush shot by Lewis. That's exactly what he wanted to do, backing him up against the ropes. Ali's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. This is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. Muhammad Ali's combination punching is working well here. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Circle him. Move, move. Commits to the straight right. Well, sending more than one at him now. The combo to the head. Ali's got a little something coming back at him. A counterpunch score. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Lennox Lewis. And yet another big shot comes in. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Lewis's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Lewis. Nice work, man. Good job in that round. Nice work. You can't it. handle your speed it's too much. Keep it up. Uh, all we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that. I'll throw that away. Nice work, kid. Good job in that round. All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? Slip his punch, then the throw a straight right the down the middle. The beginning of round four, a chance to look at the scorecards, and Teddy, you like what he's done so far early, a clean sweep of all three rounds. Yeah, a couple of rounds were close, but on the inside, when both of them had their chance to separate a little bit, he was the one who made the right decision to punch. Lewis is coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, any idea, do you think he's recouped enough here? Well, we're gonna find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're gonna look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. You want to see if those legs are stable if they're firm. Threw the straight right hand but didn't score with it. Two good jabs by Muhammad Ali. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Lewis. Not able to land the headshot. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Another flush shot to the head. Lewis is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. On the mark with the combination by Muhammad Ali. Big shot there. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way.
over. Lewis is smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. power that we saw throughout the night building a lead on your scorecard now ends the night with a knockout victory and it begins the next night the next dawn the dawn of the new beginning more money knockouts bring money for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore have yourself a great evening Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Muhammad Ali's making his way to the ring with such confidence. That is the look of a fighter who knows exactly what tonight's outcome will be. Irons now making his way to the ring. And you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Opening round scheduled for 10. So here we are with Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time, facing a guy that wants to counter him, Teddy. What should Ali be thinking about? Well, I know what he's thinking about, I think. First of all, he's very confident in whatever he's thinking about because he's the best at it. He's the best at everything. And he figures that a guy that counterpunch, that means he's going to wait for you to come and then he's going to set a trap. Ali figures he's got so much speed that he could come, he could lead with the counterpuncher and get off so quick that a counterpuncher won't have a chance to counter. Carries that punch away. Combination to the head. Ali's well off the mark that time. Iron's able to land a good, solid left hand. Ali's putting forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination score. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Doubling up the jab by Muhammad Ali. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Good fighting, snapping shot by Muhammad Ali. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Double up your jab. Right 
to the head with that right. Ali's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. What a nice big right hand from Muhammad Ali. We come to the end of the round, and maybe now decision time for the corner here. And Teddy, talk to me about how a trainer knows his guy's had enough. Well, you have to know your guy. You have to know how physically, how he emotionally reacts from the gym, where he's at a point where he's hurt, where you know that he can't take anymore. You have to know your guy, Joe. You have to know how he reacts to punches. You've seen him in the gym before, and you have to be able to recognize that immediately and say, you know what? This guy's in a place that I got to get him out of. Here we go. Round two is underway. A little double jab to the head. A headshot blocked. A knifing left hand by Muhammad Ali. Scored well up top. Muhammad Ali's jab continues to carry the day. He's wanted it, he's gotten it. There he goes with the right hand again. And now he's targeting upstairs. a good left hand by Iron. Unable to make an impact there by Muhammad Ali. Right back to the work up top. Oh, and a two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Iron. Double jab by Muhammad Ali. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Solid right by Iron. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. Ten seconds remaining in this round. And the round comes to an end. Look at the punch numbers from Muhammad Ali. He was much the busier fighter. And you would expect that from Ali because he has the speed and he knows the best way to use that speed is to put them together. Center of the ring, okay? Beautiful. Nice movement there. Now keep that up. Keep moving. And round number three is underway. Muhammad Ali's ready to go. He looks like he's in good shape for this round. This is really good work here, kind of like a boxing 101, and it's paying off. He's popping off that jab. He's staying at a safe, longer range here, and he's controlling this fight. Yeah, he's controlling real estate. Matter of fact, he looks like a real estate broker to me. He's charging a lot of money for ground right there. Every inch, every foot that his opponent tries to come in, he doesn't charge him 10 20 $30. He charges him three, four, five punches. well with that straight left what a great job he gave one right back in return nice work by Muhammad Ali here's one for you now he says right back with the left hand and coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round there's another left hand from him Good flush shot upstairs. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Teddy, he did a 
smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. It's looked like the will of the whips. The old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Unbelievable work there landing a four punch combo. Ali's getting back to basics. A good solid jab. He's winning the fight to me based on his overall speed. He's just the faster quicker fighter and it's making it so that he's able to employ his ways and get the best of his opponent oh he has that physical asset no doubt about it you can see it but he has to be careful that he doesn't get carried away he doesn't get reckless with that speed stay away from him keep throwing that jab all right breathe in take a deep breath great job that round you're doing well Keep circling, keep circling, don't stand in front of it. You, you go. gotta give me the double jab. He's been on target with his attack. Good, accurate punching as we begin round number four here. And he's up three to zip on your scorecard, Teddy. Good counter punching. And when you're counter punching the right way, you're usually getting clean shots. He's getting them. Focus, relax. Oh, a good right hand by Iron. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Targeting a left hand down low. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Muhammad Ali. Seconds, piercing left hand by Iron. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Iron dazed after that punch. He turned things around, and now his opponent has to be asking himself questions. Yeah, he's got to be saying, What do I have to do to get rid of this guy? That's a huge left hand from Muhammad Ali. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Iyer. You're doing great. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Ali's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. And round four comes to an end. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. Nice work on the outside. Keep it up. Fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? Iron's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with, because if he does, I think it's over. Teddy, he's just covering up. That's all he's doing, but it gives his opponent so much time to pick where he isn't. Yeah, you're right, Joe. I mean, First of all, some of them are going to get through and some of them are watching them. They're getting through. And you just touched on it. I mean, you cover up, you tell your opponent, hey, I'm camping out. I'm not throwing back. So instead of throwing one or two at you, he's throwing combinations of three, four, five. You got a problem. Two snapping jabs by Muhammad Ali. Okay. 
Up top with the right hand. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Double jab by Muhammad Ali. Long range using that jab. So if you're on the outside, say at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away, you use insect repellent. While you're on the outside as a fighter, you want to keep your opponent away, that jab, that's the way to go. And that's the end of round five. Ali's well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Doubling that jab, okay? Double that jab. That will put us. We are underway with the second half of this fight. Well off the mark by Iron. Doubles up the jab to the head. Wow, what a right hand from Muhammad Ali. Little head hunting with the left. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Keep working. And he just holds on there. Good job on the two punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Ali's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. Halfway through round six. Muhammad Ali's left landing well. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Irons. Goes up top with the right hand. Scores up top with the left. Hey, if you can throw them all, you may just land them all, and he does with that four-punch combination. And oh, what a good, strong uppercut by Iron. He's doing what you're doing. Double jab right to the face. Targeting that straight left hand. And now you see him scoring well with the right. There it is! He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. here unable to go the distance he couldn't rise up and beat the count
Ali's the man. One single punch, one solid knockout. That's all it took. And I love the way he did it. He tripped him into it. He made him walk in a little bit and then bang. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.